Yes, that is mesmerizing. But more mesmerizing? Mesmerizing Gur, a gun that shoots lightning. I've been shocked many times playing with Tesla coils and doing these high voltage hobbies that I have. Since my teenage years, I've probably built on the order of 50 different Tesla related projects. I'm Cameron Prince and I build Tesla coils and I make lightning. When I saw pictures of Tesla back when I was 12 years old, all that lightning flying around him and, and just my interest in electricity, I, I was just enamored. I was enthralled. I was amazed. And, and I, I wanted to be a wizard like Tesla. My first project was a Tesla coil and it made uh, pretty small sparks for to start with, but over the years I kept developing and refining and, and now that you know I, I, I can make 20 foot lightning bolts. Definitely my favorite project is this Tesla gun. The Tesla gun is a portable battery powered Tesla coil that's powered by 16 22 volt batteries. That produces about 400 volts that we then boost up into a capacitor that's on the wrist mount of the gun and that in turn boosts the voltage into the secondary coil which produces this sword-like spark that comes out the end. When we're operating the gun we need to be grounded to get the best output and also act as a protection for the person operating the gun. So we have these cables that come off the backpack and have plugs on the end that then are used to connect to the boots that we wear, which have a copper plate on the bottom. It's, it's heavy. We use the gun to ignite balloons filled with various materials. I think we need more hairspray. The primary challenge was to keep it from blowing up because it, it took numerous tries to get it right. It was a pretty significant engineering marvel um, to pack all of that into a backpack that would stay cool, uh, that would run for long times without damaging itself, because the gun is prone to have the sparks come back at not only the operator, but also the gun itself. And uh, there are a lot of complicated protection circuits that are in it that allow it to withstand these kinds of things that happen without damaging itself. We've struck various other targets. So this is the Faraday Copter, and it's a standard off-the-shelf quad rotor drone with this protective cage around it. And we took a conductive thread and kind of made this additional uh, weave of a cage around it. And what happens is, uh, when one of the, the bolts, the lightning bolts from the gun hit it, that energy flows through that conductive thread and then it'll come out the other side. I wouldn't consider it a lethal thing. You're not gonna ward off any uh, zombies or aliens with it unless you scare them to death. It's so, uh, can I say Ghostbuster? I mean, it's so, so Ghostbuster. You've got this thing that you can wear and it shoots lightning. I mean, who's heard of that? <laughs>